Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a Google Wallet for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do here is you first have to install Google Wallet in your mobile device. So in this case, I would suggest you to first download Google Wallet from the Google Play Store if you don't have it already. Now in this case, make sure they also have the latest version. So make sure to uh, update your Google Wallet first. In this case, once you've done that, go ahead and open up Google Wallet and you should be able to see the first page here. Now, in this case, if you are, or if your phone is fairly new, it might ask you to log in into your Google account first, but in this case, you should be able to see this home screen here. Now, in this case, for you to add a payment method or a card in your Google Wallet, you just need to choose the option that says add card at the very center of your screen. Now, once you hit on it, it's going to redirect you to the add a payment card page. In this case, if you previously added a card in your Google app, Google account, well, it's going to suggest you if you re if you want to also set this up for contactless payment or for Google Wallet. In this case, we'll be choosing the new credit or debit card option. Now, in this case, this will actually redirect you to another page, which in this case, you need to enter all the entire details of your card. Now, due to privacy reasons, I won't be able to actually show you the actual page for it. But in this case, it's going to actually ask you to enter your card number, your CVC, your postal code, and all the entire details for you to add your card. In this case, once you provide all the details or you've scanned your card to add your card into your account, you should be able to see the issuer term section here. In this case, just go to the very bottom until you see the next section, which in this case, it will redirect you to another page. Now, from here, it's going to ask you to verify that you are really the owner of that card. So this uh, either through a text a code or a sign-in option that you can see here. In this case, choose the appropriate option they want to use. So for example, if you choose text code here, just make sure to select that and hit on continue. And that would actually send you a code that you must enter to the next page, which in this case is the verification code. Now, once you've entered your verification code and just hit on continue, it will redirect you to the another page that says set up Google Pay as your default. In this case, if you want to set a Google Pay as your default payment method, you could choose this option by clicking set as default. Now, once you've done that, it should redirect you to your wallet page. Now, in this case, uh, for you to start uh, using uh, this uh, wallet app, what you need to do is uh, just basically, uh, if you see a terminal that's, uh, that says Google Wallet, so in this case, Source or other stores actually has this option that uh, see, uh, says Google Pay. So if you see that, they actually accept Google Pay. Now, meaning you could actually use Google Wallet as a, man, a means of actually uh, paying. Now, in this case, just choose your card here and just hover it over your or, uh, over that terminal and you should be able to start using it for the payment. Now, in this case, you might need to confirm. Just click on OK to confirm the transaction, but most likely it's going to be automatic. In this case, uh, once you've done that, you are now ready to go. Now, if you want to edit some details or uh, add other payment details here, you could go ahead and do that in this page as well. Now, if you click on the uh, option here or the actual wallet here, it should show you your actual card, the end of four, last four digits of that card. And uh, if you want to view more details about it, you could go and click on the details at the very bottom of your screen. Now, from here, you could view your activity, like for example, your recent purchases or your purchase history, your default, uh, your default for contactless if you set this as the default, your virtual account number, as well as an option to add any name for that wallet. Now, in this case, if you want to also add another wallet, you could choose the add to wallet at the bottom right of your screen and you have the following options. So in this case, you have the payment card option. So in this case, that uh, that actually enables you to add another card or debit card or credit card into your uh, Google Wallet account. If you want, if you have a transport pass, you could actually choose the transport pass here. Just enter details. And if you have a loyalty card here as well and a gift card, you could also add that into your Google Wallet account but in this case the gift card and loyalty section here can be limited so depending on your current region and uh, the uh, availability of that specific loyalty card on your uh, area or in your region then most likely you will be able to see it but again if it's not well known you will not be able to add that depending on how you actually uh, search for it 
Now, it would re redirect you to another page, but in this case, as you'll be able to search for it. So again, if you don't see it here, it means that you aren't able to add them into Google or Wallet. Now, in this case, once in here, uh, you should now be good. Then again, to start using it, you just need to open up your Google Wallet here, choose your wallet, and from then on, you should be able to uh, basically hover your phone over the terminal itself to proceed with the payment once in your once you're in the checkout page or uh, checkout section for the uh for your checkout but in this case that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video